For problem 8.3, we need to draw the PMOS counterpart of the NMOS current source. So at the left here, I have the same circuit for, for the previous problem, 8.1, and we have this NMOS. Okay. Now the counterpart for that uh, circuit, it consists of PMOS transistors. Okay. And we have now the gate here connected to the source and then so the gate connected to the drain here okay not the source so the drain so here we have the gate here we have the drain and here we have the source so we have the source directly connected to to VDD on both transistors and the resistance R here that our reference uh, current flow through is connected to the drain okay so now our that's the basically the counterpart using PMOS uh, transistors okay and this particular circuit is uh, well known for a current source because based on this current on this reference current here and the aspect ratio between the Q1 and Q2, we can actually uh, provide I0 here, so it's more like a source. In the previous circuit, it, it actually sync that I0 in the circuit, and here it sources that I0. So usually this PMOS here, it's um, better known as the current source, and this one here as a current sync. Okay? So that's just like uh, uh, a better way to clarify the purpose of each one of the circuits. I mean, the way they work, right? This one sinks I not. This one, this one here sinks I not. This one here, it serves that. So, yeah. In part B here, we we have a VDD. So consider a VDD of one point three volts. So we have. A VDD here that's 1.3 volts. A uh, threshold voltage, so the magnitude 0.4 volts. And uh, we also consider that Q1 and Q2 they are matched, so they they have the same uh, aspect ratio. And uh, the process transconductance is 80 microamperes per volt squared. And we need to find the aspect ratio and the resistance R so that we develop on a reference uh, current of 80 microamperes and we also want to have a V out um, as high as 1.1 volts and we are ignoring the channel modulation effect so first thing is that let's uh, analyze the implications of this V out uh, as as high as 1.1 volts so we know that um, V out it must be greater than the magnitude of the overdrive voltage right so it basically uh, means that if we want to develop a 1.1 volts at the output uh, and we want to go from a lower value of V out up to 1.1 okay the minimum value of V in overdrive should be equals to VDD sorry VDD which is the maximum voltage that we have in 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 the circuit minus the maximum value of V out that's what's left for V overdrive right so in this case V overdrive it should be equals to that 1.3 minus the output voltage that's 1.1 and this leads us to an overdrive voltage of 0.2 volts okay so that's one of the parameters that we have for this particular circuit now if we remember because there is no current flowing here right everything of the reference current is actually the drain current right because there is no current flowing here so ID1 is the reference current 
which in our case is 80 microamperes. Okay. Now, a second analysis is that we don't know what's the potential, what's what's the potential at the gate here. Right? We don't know this VG. And to find out what's the value of R, we need to know VG because VG is the same here. It's connected here, right? So if we know VG, we can apply Ohm's law here to define the resistance because we know the current, the reference current. So how do we define this gate uh, voltage? So the magnitude of the overdrive voltage is equals to Vsg because it's a PMOS, right? minus the magnitude of the threshold voltage and this gives us Vs minus Vg equals to magnitude of V overdrive plus Vt and if we isolate Vg here we get Vg equals to Vs minus the magnitude of the overdrive voltage minus the magnitude of the threshold voltage now remember that the source here it's connected to VDD so if VDD is 1.3 it means that VG is equals to 1.3 minus the overdrive voltage that's 0 0.2 we just calculated up here minus the threshold voltage which is given by the problem as 0 0.4 so this gives us a VG of 0 0.7 volts now that we have VG, we can apply this Ohm's law here. So we know that VG minus 0 volts is equals to the resistance times the reference current. So R is equals to that VG 0 0.7 volts divided by the reference current of 80 microamperes. And this gives us a value of resistance that is 8.75 kilo ohms. Okay, so that's R. Now, because we know ID1, right? ID1 here is the same as the reference current. And we know that ID1 is equals to 1 half the process transconductance for the PMOS times the aspect ratio. We want to define this one times Vsg minus the magnitude of the threshold voltage squared and this is V overdrive right so if we know ID1 we know the process we know the overdrive voltage we can calculate the aspect ratio which the second unknown that we need to define so the aspect ratio W over R is equals to 2 times ID1 divided by the process transconductance times the overdrive voltage squared. And this is 2 times 80 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 80 times 10 to the minus 6 times 0 0.2 squared. And this gives us an aspect ratio of 2 divided by 0 0.2 squared. And that's an aspect ratio of 50. Okay? So that's the answer for this problem.